So let's pick up where we left off, I guess to say. Um, this water's all running, as you can see. It's flowing pretty good. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's flowing through the... Really, got a lot of rain. That was a tremendous amount of rain. Come with that uh, storm they call Beta. In the Greek alphabet, right? That. And, um... It's all geoengineered nowadays. Agenda 21 has been in, a, in play. If you live in a big city, sorry for you. Because they're 5G and his 5G genocide for sure. And they're trying to bring it to the country. They put one around my place, honestly. Let them put it up. I won't say I'm the one that's going to be taking it down with a sawzall, but somebody will. I think let it happen. Getting targeted enough as it is. You got it in the house and the Wi Fi. You can't have a router without them having a 5G fast hook to your wall because they'll cut your internet off completely. And I don't use mobile phones, don't even have one. The radiation that comes from them is incredible. See, I'm getting a little deeper here now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. This is really great. Oh, yeah. This is. <laughs> this is super. Oh yeah, dang, I'm at a few mosquitoes. I'm out here in the middle of this run now. Like, I don't know what might be laying on the bottom. Otters, crocodiles, what, cotton mouths, who knows, who cares? You know, if I, hey, it's like this, if, I, if God wants me to die, I'll die. You know, if he don't, I won't. So I look at it. Doesn't make my peace, the world in the afterlife. So, you know, I don't want to leave, you know, loved ones behind, I guess, but really I don't, but, um, you know, nobody's made it live forever, even though they are trying with transhumanism. Ooh, yeah, boy. You know, I may take these waders off and come back and go swimming in just my shorts. Man, it feels good. What, does it feel good? Look how clean that water is. But it's not good water. It's got chemical residue in it. It's not the water that used to fall when the Indians were here. <clears throat> yes. Oh yeah, it's so nice, man. <clears throat> And of course, it's clouded up today. I don't know where all the little hairy creatures go to live in here at night. They go up on these islands. In these swamps, there's islands. Just like I live on, on a hill, a big hill. Just piled up with real rich sandy dirt. And I guess they, they pile up on them. Unless you're something that loves the water. Of course, I love the water. But at night, if you, y'all flies, if you get trapped in a place like this, if the sun goes down on you, and it has, you better know your way out or you better stay still and, and just be patient till the morning comes because you will die. You will fall in a hole in the water like this. You get tangled up in limbs and branches. You trip up. You won't, you'll gouge your eyes out. You'll, you won't make it. So, this is pretty much no man's land for only a few because I growed up in it. And now I can share some of it with the technology you know, that's where I just came from. Let's see where I want to go. I'm not sure. We'll take this route. 
Because this water seems to be pouring by that tree. Looks like that's the main spot. We got Stobo Lake, Crane Nest Lake, Mud Lake, Red Oak Island, Little Red Oak Island, Barn Hill. All these places. That looks like. Mm. Okay. That's, that's long enough, I guess, right? Because there it was, and there it goes. Hear the owls, but man, it is strange and quiet. It's pretty quiet in here. Well, that water feels good because I'm sweating. Because it's humid. Whew. Okay. You made it this far. <laughs> Thank you, but I don't. It's going into the cloud. Okay.